Hey folks, DC7 here, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Minibrin Farm. Okay, well you could use a little cleaning. Yeah, other than that, not bad. Certainly less of a mess than you were. However, what I need to do here is get this onto our other field, but yeah, let's uh, pop down here and see what we've got for leftover bits and bobs before we break open any new ones. So, let's start here. There you go. So close. I believe that's... Ooh, am I going to be able to get close enough? Yes, even with my terrible driving. Yes. Alrighty. And... Alright, well, there's still a little bit left in that guy. <coughs> um... Ah, we're close enough on the seeds. Close enough, indeed. So, uh... Hmm. Yeah, this field is a bugger. It is a bugger, indeed. Because of the, uh... Well, terrible job that was done when that was put down. So, we need to do some land escaping. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, that's just wow, you know. We might have to repaint afterwards, but that's okay. So, let's start on a spot we know is flat. And let's just start to ease these out a little bit. I don't want to uh, mess the field up. You know. I just want to get some of this part a little more level. Again, let's get down on our nice flat part. Let's see if we can't make that just a little more amenable. That's oh, far from perfect. Okay. And now let's get it back to what it should be. Grass and grass, I think that'll do. Look a little bit smaller baller, and away we go. Okay. Okay. Let's get this all grassed back in. Uh -huh. Try to make sure I don't paint over my own crops. And it's still a little bit of an angle, you can see that, eh? Okay. 
Have we made a difference or have we made it worse? Hey, look at that. That's not too bad. I think even a uh, even a hired worker can manage that, I think. So, as we have a job far, far away, that's exactly what I need is a hired worker that can handle this. So let's see who they bring on for us. Do -do -do -do. Get in there. That's the ticket. Okay. All right. This is uh, this is where we need to be. <clears throat> yes. What do we got going on over here? Potatoes. Paul Gerber's growing a billion tons of potatoes. Holy smokes, man. Well, have fun harvesting those. I'm uh, not going to be buying that field from you in that condition. <laughs> no siree. Okay. Whoop. Pipe out. No, it was out. Okay. Here we go. Let's make some money. Yeah, for those of you that... Uh, watch my farm sim video... Tired, I'm not doing very good here today. Farm sim videos, but don't tend to watch my uh, other ones, or at least not the other one that'll be up when this one goes up, which I believe is a vintage story. Okay, I'm just making a complete mockery of this. Um, <laughs> I had kind of an interesting day with the computer today. I usually start my day, but you know grabbed a cup of coffee that was brewing away while I was feeding my kitties after getting up and uh, then I'll come in here and turn the computer on and by the time the coffee and everything's ready well so is everything in here however I came out this morning and everything was fine it was all lit up I was check my emails and I noticed there was an email from uh, Smiley Games, Amazon, whatever, to let me know that I did in fact uh, have access to the open beta that was currently uh, openly betaing. Beta yeah, so I thought, cool, I'll uh, give me a little extra yeehaw to do this weekend and loaded the game up. And at first, okay, this is, uh, now I don't know what the heck I'm looking at. <laughs> oh, I see what was going on there, okay. So I installed the game. It's not a small install, but luckily it went fairly quickly. Okay, this is just crazy, crazy. Let's just see if we can't focus down the end of this row now that we're in a direction I recognize. And it installed just fine in decent time. But already, let's uh, crack it open and laugh at the length of the queue. Well, I went to launch it and it wouldn't launch. It came up with an error message that uh, Steam hadn't installed their security thing. Okay. And I went through the usual, you know, but it wasn't, it wasn't the normal sort of message you get. It, it had a little bit different. It wasn't anything I'd ever seen before. So, I did the usual. I went to, uh, you know, verify files. I think I missed the first few, didn't I? Yeah, am I going to be able to get them? Sure. There you go. Um... You know, did the verify files and all of that happy, happy, joy, joy. And it went through, said everything was fine. Tried relaunching, it got the same error. 
So I looked online to see what the error was because it, there, nobody had reported that particular error in the forums. There were others. Um, I couldn't find anything that looked even remotely like it. So I went online and googled it because, you know, that's what you do with things you don't know these days. And sure enough, there was the, uh, the reference to it. Man, that's weird the way that suddenly just changed on me. and a couple of suggestions as to how you could fix it. So I looked at all the suggestions and I compared it and looked for ones where, you know, people were more or less in agreement that not only was that a method that worked, but it was actually the method that Microsoft also um, suggested if you found yourself in that situation. That is the weirdest little jut. I wonder what the heck I did there. And good quickly back up. Oh my, what has happened? Oh! <laughs> I've run out of gas. <laughs> oh god. So, come on, let me through, man. I can't even see over the corn. So I went to do that. Now, the way to fix it, you had to go into Windows Settings and turn off a certain thing under uh, one of the things in settings. So I opened Windows Settings. No problemo. I don't have another vehicle here. I shouldn't be walking. There we go. I don't want to be there. And that was fine. It opened Windows Settings. I can okie dokie. Now do I have a tractor other than the one working currently? I should have. Yes, I do. But when I went to click on the actual category, so that I could, you know, access the thing I needed to access, I got the uh, little hourglass for a couple of milliseconds, and then the hourglass disappeared and nothing opened. So, everything in settings did the same thing. So, well, that's a little weird. Uh, well, maybe what I'll do is restart. Oh, actually, it even went back a little further. It wouldn't actually... It, it let me open all of my emails except the one from Steam. It did the same thing. It would give the little hourglass and then it would actually close the mailbox. Now, Windows Mail is a bit daft anyways. It doesn't seem to work as it should a lot of the time. It is a nice, convenient way to do it, so I leave it there and I use it. But, uh, then, like I said, I got the exact same behavior in Windows Settings. So I went back online and looked, but none of the suggestions particularly linked those two events, you know what I mean? Like, there was lots of reasons you could not access different things. I'm an idiot. I've gone right past the field. Uh, there is no other way out, is there? No. Oh, hey, boy, we've messed it up this time. Hello, piggy. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, the piggy laughs. The piggy laughs. So yeah, there was nothing that would consistently say, okay, you know, if your settings don't work and your mailbox is broken, do this. So I finally decided, well, you know, I did spend all that money buying a legitimate copy of Windows. How about if I, uh, Field 5 is right up there. How about, or 7, I, is this a problem? I don't even know what field I'm going to. So I plugged my, uh, jump drive that has Windows 10 on it in the back. And it wouldn't boot from it, but probably because the motherboard I'm using actually has a specific USB port that allows you to do certain things, and I think that's the one I plugged it into. Anyway, um, we're here. Good stuff. I uh, 
did the install where it allows you to keep your files. And yeah, went through all that rigmarole. And so far, everything seems okay. Oops. Like I am able to access Windows settings, etc, etc, etc. So, yeah. As I say, so far, so good. So you have no idea what, uh, what caused that. You know, I checked the uh, SSD that my operating system is on. And it seemed to be functioning fine. So, oh, look at that. I could have just gone straight up to the back of the pig farm. Good lord. So, yeah, I have no idea why... Uh, Windows decided it was going on vacation this morning, but sure freaked me out. And no, I have not yet installed the beta. I went back and looked at it, and it's only for three days anyways. And then it's another wipe. What's the point? I'll get maybe as far as I did the last time. So, I mean, I understand there's a point for them. This is the open one. And man, is it full. I watched uh, a YouTuber yesterday evening had loaded it up and jumped on and had a 28 minute wait they were 560th in line <laughs> so they did finally get on but I mean like even the starting zone you couldn't see the NPC that gives you your starting quests yeah you couldn't even see them yeah I don't really care if you're waiting to be honest with you there okay thank you I suppose they were nicer than most. A lot of them will just start flailing on the horn like you're gonna, you know, ruin their lives if you hold them up for another 10 seconds. I imagine there are instances where it could be serious, but I'm sure most of the time it's just impatience. There we go. Now we have a working vehicle. So, yeah. That was a uh, bit of a freaky way to start my morning. You just get so used to things just bloody working, you know? <laughs> and when all of a sudden the uh, first thing you do for the day does not work as it should, uh, not good. All right, that's done. You're doing... Yeah, looks like a good job. You're managing the ends, so I guess we smoothed it enough for you to not f overly freak out. Look at that, eh? Didn't even have to spray none down the carburetor or nothing. How are we doing? 70% almost, eh? Well, 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 well. Now, this is nowhere near the size of the last one we did. So, we're not going to, uh... We're not going to be able to sell 100,000 liters of it and still have 50,000 liters left. Although the cows certainly made short work of that. I couldn't believe that that uh, entire 21,000 liter trailer just disappeared into their trough like nothing. I don't think it actually filled it either, did it? Chicken, sheep, cows. No. 47,000. Holy smoking monkeys. Look at that. And lots of straw. That's cool. Wow. That's, uh... That's just off the wall, man. And no TMR. I'm just allowing the mixer to, uh... Mix up what it's got in it at least, you know. 
Okay, can I grab this? Papa, -pa -pa, please. Oops, there we are. I just lost the inside row. Ah. will be the road to do it. Well, we didn't bring us a tractor. Let's go get one. You'll do. You will do. Uh oh. <laughs> yes, we're off to the races by Guppy. My god. I'm pretty sure I just came through there. Oh, well, good for me. Closing the door behind me. I wasn't born in a barn. I just work in one. Yep. Keep fixing that. Oh, I missed. Huh. I'm out of practice. I clearly aimed for it by accident and uh, missed it. Excellent. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna pull your usual anyway in the world, how idiots drive. We're gonna stop at the stop sign, look both ways, it's clear. And then we're gonna reach down to our cup holder, have a sip of coffee, and without looking, just blaze out into traffic. No, do, do, do. Of course, we got away with it. <laughs> Somewhere, there's a tree lower. Okay. Slow down, holy C -c crazy man. Me, the biggies now. Is it quicker this way or that way? Uh, all the way up around the farm. I think it's still quicker this way. Oh well. We're committed now. <laughs> I was trying to keep that a secret. Go. Massive accident. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, okay. I'm going to say the other way might be quicker. Might be quicker. Oh, is the field done? Almost. Right up at the last row. We're very close to it. Oh good, the weeds are starting to come in on our first field. Awesome. Haven't had a crop of those in a while. Now we 
still haven't taken the uh, digestate out and sold it. So there's a little bit of money there. Really? Come on now. Uh, I guess those things are a lot wider than you give them credit for, you know? That should be about right. Dexter, get away from my feet. I think you're doing. Weirdo. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, that wasn't my best pour. Okay, come on. Yes, there you go. So I think what we're going to need to do here... Yes. There we go. Now we can stomp on it a couple of times, level it out, and we'll be good. Well, there's still quite a hump at the end in there. Maybe we should grab one more. That's better. How's it looking? 47%? Oh, man. actually pretty nicely distributed in there. Oh yeah, the numbers are going up pretty quick now.
restaurant. There we go. That is a classy piece of kit, that thing. <coughs> Alright. Let's go back. I think that was the longest silo pre silage press I've ever done. Okay. Good thing nobody's coming. How's this one doing for gas? It's good. Alrighty. Please, dude, make sure you apply for that new engine grant from Giants when they come out, eh? Whoa. Yee now, what's the best way? This way? Probably not, eh? Well, maybe. Cut around the outside of all that other stuff. We might have got a little too close with our trailer on that last one. We'll have to watch out for that sort of thing, you know. Not great behavior. Okay, now I think I gotta go this way. Yeah, see, I'm not sure that it's any faster. To be honest. Even using the cut through the piggy zone. I don't know. I think it's probably pretty even, you know. But either way, I think that's going to be it for the episode. Uh, there we go. And I'm pretty sure that... Uh, ...you old hired help is done at that other field. So before we pack it in for the day... Let's quickly bop on over there and see how he did. Okay, well I can already see one little tiny issue. Marumba rumba. And I'm not sure why you thought this was acceptable, but oh well. I'm not even sure who was here doing the job. I didn't look, so... Not like I can call up the farm labor pool and go, look, little Bobby Nun Nuts there came in and did a terrible job. Don't send them again. Because they'd go, Tommy, who? Never heard of them and hang up on me. So, you know. Anyway, guys, now that this field is properly sealed, it, seeded, sealed, it, whatever I've done to it, we're going to call it a day. Take care of each other. Have yourselves a heck of a good day. Ciao for now.